our current economic situation is a struggling one owing to the high level of inflation, high interest rates, high cost of living, high level of unemployment, and um, slowing economic uh, downturn and other factors. This current economic situation is an unpalatable one. It is not a sweet one. It is not one that you can actually digest and say that all is actually well. Because all may not be well when people find it very difficult to afford a three square meals in a day or where there is a very high level of a uh, cost of a uh, living and the standard of living is also dilapidating or it is actually depleting in the society so this is not a good economic uh, situation now today we're going to look at um, how we can actually avoid being financially broke. But before I move on, I think it is important that I introduce myself. My name is David Oni, and my YouTube channel is David Oni Wiz. And um, what is this medium before I proceed to say very big thank you, thank you to our returning subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you have not uh, subscribed, I beg, make a subscribe now. You see, in July, according to a publication by this day newspaper inflation in nigeria has soared to 34.19 percent this is amid high energy prices and the food prices you see energy prices in nigeria now is on the high side and um a lot of households are finding it very, very difficult to survive in this uh, situation. Not only this, the prices of foods have actually skyrocketed or gone up drastically, you know, in a very high velocity or high acceleration. And because of this, it is not a good one. Virtually all the states within the federating unit of Nigeria are actually worst aid as a result of this economic uh, pandemonium and the uh, economic uh, uncertainty. Among the states are actually Bawichi, Oyo, Kogi, Benue, Bonu, Katsina, and some other states, including uh, Kano. So currently, food prices or index has hit 40.87%. Uh, this is uh, disastrous and it is not a good thing for the economy. So as a result of this economic uh, instability and the uh, uncertainty, a lot of people are actually financially broke. Even those people that are actually saving their money for for retirement and for other things, have actually broken the vault to start spending this uh, money. So, more disappointing is that uh, most people do not have money in their bank account. Uh, again, if you could remember in my last topic, I was talking about 8,200 people that are actually millionaires in this country and uh, that people cannot actually boast of 500,000 naira in their account. If you look at the current economic trend now and current economic situation, you will realize that, that a lot of Nigerians cannot boast of 500,000 naira in their account. In other words, the numbers have actually skyrocketed. So, apart from this, investment is also at the lowest uh, level because when you don't have money, how can you actually invest your money? It is going to be very, very difficult. So the economic situation is an unpalatable economic situation, is an uncertain economic situation. It is what I call economic 
Balablu or Ulubal. Let me use that word. So, despite all this multi facet, multi dimensional, many onerous, plenty, you know, problems plaguing the system, there can actually be a way out. And that is why I am coming up with this topic so that you can have the way out of this uh, economic quagmire and economic uh, problems. It does not actually matter your age or your belief or whether you are young or old, you can still be financially independent. And that's why we are talking about the fact that despite the fact that the economy is not a good one, you can actually avoid being financially broke. So you can actually be financially independent. So this process that I'm going to discuss about is the same process that if you want to build wealth or become a millionaire or a billionaire, if you actually follow these steps, you can actually become a one. So becoming a millionaire or a billionaire is a possibility despite this, you know, preposterous economic uh, situation or quagmire or colodrome that we find ourselves in the uh, Nigeria there can still be a way out so let us dive into this uh, point I am going to enumerate and discuss about in this uh, discussion so that we can actually avoid being financially broke in this economic situation and also make more money for ourselves in this uh, economic uh, uncertainty now the first point that i'm going to discuss about that can make it to avoid being financially broke or to avoid being in the position of not having anything in your pocket is that number one you need to earn uh, money you need to earn money now what do i mean by any uh, money by any money it will make it to be financially independent when you earn money you become financially independent so the first step to making or avoiding being financially broke is that you need to earn uh, money when you start working that's when you can earn uh, money so to earn money you need to start something for yourself whether something a white collar job or any kind of thing that you can actually do apart from committing crime or engaging in fraudulent activities then you can uh, do it. You probably will always say, oh, the Lord, oh, my provided you are not what an Ababa, provided you are not a 419, provided you are not a Yahoo, provided you are not engaging in what in criminal activities, but you are only looking for your daily bread and looking for a source of survival and becoming somebody in life, then that job you have to start looking for it. So when you get a job, you start uh, earning money. You get paid for the services which you have uh, render to people that is when they ask for your services they ask for your work or you do something for people they will pay you in what in return so when you start any money that is the first stage of what of being financially independent somebody will say but how much can i earn in this economic situation concerning the fact that money does not have value start something uh, first so the first stage to avoid being financially broke is that you need to earn uh, money and how do you earn the money? Is by starting there uh, to work, start working. Number two, which I'm going to talk about, is that you need to save some money. So if you want to avoid being financially broke, then you need to save uh, money. When you save money, you are actually creating uh, wealth. So saving of money is a form of what of wealth uh, creation. But when you are saving this money, don't forget about uh, investment. So to create wealth, you need to save some part of your money. In other words, you are not supposed to spend all your money that you have, you have earned by offering services to people out there. That is, if you are a salary earner or you are self-employed, once you have paid that money, don't spend all that money. In other words, you must save some part of the money. Now, in this economic situation, which is inflation, it might be difficult for a middle class or for a lower class to save money, but you must find a way to save that money because nothing good in life comes very, very easy. Because saving itself and 
sacrificing out of things to save that money itself is what is a punishment on your side but don't look at that punishment don't consider the inconveniences save some part of that uh, money don't use that money to buy beer to buy expensive research research to buy expensive shoes to look good inside so everybody will begin to look at you as if you are actually rich but it's actually what a mischievous or a fake life so what we're saying in a nutshell is that you must save some part of your money so saving some part of money you will make you to avoid some certain uh, lifestyle so when you save some part of your money you will avoid some certain expensive uh, lifestyle and what are those expensive lifestyle and lifestyles buying those things that we do not necessarily uh, need so avoiding some certain lifestyles will make you to be quite different from other people in other words when you start this process or this kind of a lifestyle people will begin to look at you in a different way because you are not doing what they are actually doing before but that should not be what a prerequisite to your to the journey of your wealth creation but rather you could focus more on what you are doing and where you are actually going so that should not bother you whether people begin to call your sort of names or they begin to look down on you that you are not making sense that you are not doing those things that you are actually doing before that should not be what a concern to you but rather be focused and don't let anything to distract you in this regard so save some money and avoid some of some expensive uh, lifestyle so when you actually save some money you are actually avoiding making other people rich you are avoiding making other people rich don't forget that word now how do you make other people rich when you buy those expensive shirts when you buy those expensive wristwatch when you buy those expensive shoes when you buy those things that you do not necessarily need you are making other people to be very very rich so invest some part of your money today and don't spend all that money extravagantly so saving money involves a lot of sacrifice it involves a lot of determination it involves a lot of prudence it involves a lot of resilience it involves a lot of what of making up your mind that this thing you have to do it so in this economic situation you can still save some money irrespective of the condition or situation of the economy in nigeria you can still save some money this one i'm going to talk about is very 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 important and that is number three number three is that you need to buy some uh, assets now that you are saving some part of your money now that you have decided to not to spend all that money that you are earning now that you have decided not to be extravagant now that you have decided decided not to be wasteful now that you have decided to to spend to save some part of this money then it is now time the next stage is what that you need to buy some uh, assets you see asset acquisition will create wealth for you when you buy assets you are buying wealth and not uh, liabilities because liabilities will create what holes in your pocket but assets will create uh, wealth for you and when i'm talking about wealth i'm talking about generational wealth I'm talking about a decade of a uh, sacrifice. Now, what are these assets that you can actually buy? Because most of us, a lot of people have been asking me, we're talking about asset, 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 asset. You know, that's why I decided to, to include this point in my discussion. When you talk about asset, number one of them is what we call is stock. We have stock, we have real estate, we have uh, businesses. So now that you are saving your money now, you cannot invest that money into buying stocks or buying what real estate or buying what we call a uh, or starting a business so investment doesn't mean that you have to put a lot of a uh, money saving money does not mean that you have to put a lot of money investment doesn't mean that you have to put hundreds of millions of naira into that investment before you can actually start uh, investing you can start with as little as you own like i can remember when i wanted to start my you know my market uh, money market uh, fund the one of the conditions that was stipulated is that the minimum amount of money that you can actually contribute was actually five thousand naira, and i don't think that has actually changed a lot of us spend more than five thousand naira in a day 
Now, why not calculate it that if you can save 5,000 ever in a day times 30 days, that is 115,000 ever. In other words, you can save between 100,000, 80,000, or 150,000 per month as your form of what of a investment a portfolio so you don't need a lot of money you do not need not to 1 million you do not need not to you know 10 million you don't need 50 million you can start with something small start with something uh, small so from little you can start building your wealth start a uh, small today you could be an active or a passive uh, investor depending on what on your level of uh, education for I, for example, because of the fact that I don't have high level of uh, financial education, because I don't have that time or leisure time to do a lot of research about companies and how they make their money, their directors, and how dividends are being shared. What I did is that I went to what I call a passive investment uh, portfolio. That is, I actually put my money and somebody is what is trading on my behalf. And that's what I call what a passive investment uh, portfolio. But if you actually have time, you have high level of financial education, like some people, you can actually buy stock and buy and sell at any point in time. But that one is more riskier than, than passive investment uh, portfolio. So what are those investments that you can actually buy? You can invest in what we call ETF. What is ETF? That is equity trust uh, fund, which is what? Which is part of the money market uh, fund. Which part of what we call the total market uh, fund? So you can invest in what we call the uh, ETF. So if you buy stocks, you engage in what we call the uh, ETFs, equity trust uh, fund. You could also buy what we call the S and P five hundred. S and P five hundred. What is the S and P five hundred? The S and P five hundred are the most strongest, largest, richest, you know, companies in the United States of America. They are the most active companies in the United States of America. They are called the S&P 500. You could also invest in what we call a Nasdaq. You can invest in Nasdaq. You know, so you can invest some money in so many of that of this thing that I've just mentioned now. Apart from that, you can also invest some money in what in Allah or money market fund. You can invest some money in dollar fund. You can invest some money in what in euro fund. You can invest your money in so many of them. But for you to be able to invest your money, you need financial education. Financial education. That is why. David Oniwiz is always there to put train regarding to this thing because most of the things I'm doing, I'm talking about now, is what I'm also doing. Now, number four, which is very critical and very important, is that you need to earn more money. Now that you have actually invested your money, now that your money is what is working for you, then the next stage is that you need to earn more money. I say you need to earn more money what i'm simply saying there is that you need to work for more money so for that reason you have to look for other ways where you can actually generate what we call passive income where you could actually generate more money for you at the end of the day and you can invest more of this money into investment portfolios do you understand now so when you are saying you are earning more money and more money is what is actually coming in that is you are making profit like what i did did in my own case let me tell you now when i started investing last year or thereabouts most of my money or profit that i'm actually making i decided to, to leave that money i didn't touch the money so i reinvested the money into my investing portfolio in order to, to increase my level of what of uh, interest because the interest is actually what we call a compounded interest do you get it now compounded interest so now in most cases when people are making more money like that they are always tempted to, to spend the money that they have actually what made and that's why i call it a decade of water sacrifice that is the minimum number of years that you can actually go when you talk about investment for my own opinion is 10 years 10 years so at least minimum of 10 years if you can say for a minimum of water of 10 years consistently continuously without any form of water of interaction or interruption or any form of distraction i can bet you you can become a a millionaire do you understand now? So as the money is coming, as you are any more money, that does not mean that you have to spend the money. That does not mean that you have to be extravagant. That does not mean that you have to be wasteful. In other words, you can reinvest that money back into what? Into your investment uh, portfolio. Because this is the area where most people have actually what made a lot of uh, mistakes. When they are earning the money, they begin to spend the money. They want to show to up to people that they have actually arrived. They buy cars. They buy new things they want to you know 
shop themselves because of the societal pressure that they have actually made money. That is not investment. Investment is a decade of a uh, sacrifice. So it entails making yourself richer and not making other people rich. It's a decade of a uh, what of sacrifice. Asset will make you to be wealthy and create more wealth for you, but liabilities will make you to be poor. So to create more wealth for yourself means you have to pull down on your spendings and invest more in what in asset uh, creation. You have to cut down on your extravagant spending. Don't buy those things that you don't necessarily need. Don't buy expensive things now. Don't buy expensive cars. Don't live in expensive apartments. Don't buy expensive shoes. Because this economic situation does not allow for that. You have to invest in your future. Because hey, old age, no be small thing. You. Old age is very, very expensive. So create a passive income for yourself where you are going to be generating more money for yourself apart from your primary source of a income 2024 you know the smile i beg you know the smile try and work and make more money for yourself this year now number five which i'm going to talk about is you need to hire smarter people now a lot of us usually make mistakes in this regard we say i don't want people that are smarter than me if you want to be rich in life you have to hire smarter people the people that are more intelligent more smarter than you because they know they have more experience than you they are more exposed than you so they can put you through and who are these smart people these are the people that will help you to protect your assets in case of any problem because as you are making money as you are becoming more wealthier there's every tendency that people will want to dig their hands into your pockets you understand now they want to dip their hands into your pocket they want to make part of your money they want to take away part of your money so you need people that are more smarter than you that can actually help you to, to protect your assets these people are financial advisors like for me i have financial advisor if i want to do an investment now i can call my financial advisor or my portfolio manager to give me professional advice on what i should do sometimes i will go to the office sometimes we will speak on the phone if the something that is very important i will go one-on-one -on -one. we'll see together Sometimes we'll spend 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes together because I needed to know where my money is going to. I needed to know where I'm going to invest my money. Do you get it now? So you need financial advisor. You need the lawyers or attorneys. You understand now? You need a lawyer. No, it's not saying we're not saying that you have to go and meet a lawyer and say, lawyer, we are going to be my lawyer, I'll be paying you. No, you have to have a family lawyer that can protect you in this regard. So that your money can be protected you need a lawyer then you need a tax accountant you need a tax accountant then you also need what i call estate planning attorneys because we are to what actually invest in what in rental estates you need a you know estate planning uh, attorneys that can actually what help you and you know advise you on where you can actually what invest your money in terms of, of uh, estate uh, management they avoid cheap people because some people always say, ah, no, I don't want to spend my money, I don't want to waste my money. Because if, we, if you actually go for cheap people, you get a, what I get, you get what we call a cheap result. So avoid cheap people because cheap people will give you what we call cheap result. So if you want to make wealth, if you want to create wealth for yourself, if you want to create investment for yourself, then it is better and very important that you have these people beside you that can actually protect you one way or the other. You know they will give you professional advice they'll give you they'll put you through this is where you should put your money this is not where you should put your money this is the kind of what um equity that's actually what making more money or generating money what in the what in the money market or in the stock exchange markets you get it now so you need financial education to be able to add to adjust to be able to achieve all these things that we're talking about uh, here so on this note i'm going to stop on the, what you can actually do to avoid being financially took. i hope you have learned something today no, so if you have actually learned something, yeah, press that was subscription button and what leave your comment on how to serve it better. And don't forget to, to share my videos to people out there. To meet next time, God bless you, God bless Nigeria, God bless Lagos, and God bless every one of us in the mighty name of God. Till we meet next time, thank you and God bless you. Bye bye.